the funniest stories I've ever been experienced with um, was in Puerto Rico in probably 2007. There was a terrible, terrible match going on in a baseball stadium. And I take my wrestling very seriously. And to see a horrible match in front of a decent sized crowd, I mean, and, and at this time I was working for Carlos Colon, WWC. He was hardly paying me. I was lucky if I, if I made anything because uh, he was giving me bounce checks. I mean, I was just there because I enjoyed wrestling and I had a girlfriend there and I enjoyed living in Puerto Rico. But I was not making the money that I was told I was making. And when, it, when I saw these two guys having such a terrible match, I was worried that it was going to affect attendance for future shows. So I kept telling the booker, who was standing at our side of the dugout, please, you've got to stop this. Please, 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 let me do something. Please. And this time I only had my socks on. And someone told me to come down and watch the match because it was so bad. So I go down there and I'm just begging. I'm just begging and pleading with them. And finally, they do something that was just horrible. I think uh, one guy went to give the other one a clothesline and he missed, and the, the other guy fell anyways. And the booker just looked at me, I think it was Rico Suave, and he nodded, he's like, go for it, animal. And I just went in there and I beat the living crap out of him. And of course, there was no reason for it. Here's this guy that's running it, that has nothing to do with the match, in his socks, uh, not even in his wrestling outfit. So, of course, Eddie Colon, uh, who is now Primo Colon in WWE, who I actually like a lot, great wrestler, I have a lot of respect for. Anyways, Eddie Colon comes running in, because the only way to get me out of the ring and put an end to this massacre is, uh, is to have a massive brawl. So Eddie came running out, then more of the bad guys came running out, then more of the good guys came running out, and in the end, the entire two dressing rooms had cleared out into this massive brawl in this baseball stadium, and it was all because one match was had just gone horribly wrong. And it, it's really funny because there was no reason for this match of two unknown guys that weren't even on TV or anything to, ha to, to have the match end with all like the top stars of the company having a massive brawl. My girlfriend at the time said she was just watching. She was a wrestling fan. And she saw all my matches and she was just watching, wondering what the hell was going on.